Hey guys, so yesterday I had this issue where I came home and the furnace, um, it got cold in Atlanta. So what, um, we turned on the heater and um, the fan would kick on, but the furnace, which is what heats the house, it was not coming on. So I came in here, I took off these two plates. It's pretty basic. You just open these up. Um, I think I had a couple screws holding them in, which were these here. Well, possibly you're gonna have a real easy fix, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is look at this LED light. And um, it will be flashing, blinking, a code, okay? If something is uh, going on with the furnace. So on one of your panels, it should have a diagram like so, um, that tells you what flashes mean. The flash that I had was a three flashes, which is telling me that the pressure switch is stuck open, right? Then I did the research. This is what the pressure switch looks like. It has a hose running to it and it has the two wires, right? It's a diaphragm inside. So at first I thought it was the faulty switch. So what I did was I unplugged these two wires like so one second let me get them unplugged so sorry so i unplugged the two wires that, that were there and um what i did was i used this pin to jump the two wires together and the furnace the furnace kicked on once I turn the power on the furnace back on, you wanna have you wanna have the power on whenever you deal with anything here. But then to test, you turn the power on, and what what's gonna happen is um, where these burners are, that element that you see inside with the white ceramic on it, that's gonna turn orange. It's gonna be glowing hot, and then what you will see happen is after a couple seconds, or maybe about thirty seconds or so the gas will start to be delivered and you'll see the furnace ignite. Well, I jumped it initially and thought that my issue was the pressure switch. Well, then the unit turned off and about 20 minutes after working and the LED was blinking twice, which is telling me that the pressure switch was stuck closed which makes sense because I jumped it, right? So it's going through some kind of cycles inside, most likely the motherboard is, and then it's testing it and it's showing that um, this unit is damaged. So what I learned to do in some of the videos is you unplug this hose. This is the first step I would do. You unplug this hose completely like so, and you blow through it to make sure that there are no obstructions. Then, what I did was I put one of these, uh, put one of the hose ends back onto the nipple on the switch, okay? And then I would do, I would lightly blow in it and suck on the hose so I could hear that the switch is cycling inside, like so. If you could hear that clicking, that was me blowing. So sometimes the switch will get stuck inside, so, you could basically, as the gentleman in the video was saying, you can exercise the diaphragm back and forth in case it got, you know, stuck in place after sitting for some time. Well, I did that today. Uh, put the put this back on the hose, uh, turned it on, and it still continued to give me the error code. The LED kept flashing three times, so I knew that the switch is working, but something is not allowing uh, the air to flow. So it was mostly some kind of, almost certainly some kind of blockage. So what I did was I got one of these pins, right? It's a hairpin. And what I did was I removed this hose of the nipple, which has a very small orifice or opening, right? And on the inside of this unit that's turning in there, you could see there's even gunk here. So what I ended up having was the gunk was built up on the inside. So what I took was I took this pin like so without disassembling anything and I just put it inside to make sure that the orifice was clean, okay? So I felt uh, as I put this in that something inside like broke loose like a piece that was built up, 
Okay, so then what I did was I put the hose back on. I reconnected this hose, uh, these wires, and I don't think it matters which way you connect them because most likely it's just going to uh, connect the circuit. So it's like a switch. So it doesn't matter which way you'll connect them. There's some cases where it does matter, like if it's a diode, I think, but on a switch like this, it shouldn't matter. So I did that. I flipped the switch on. The motherboard came on, okay. I hear the blower motor kick on, the, uh, the top unit that we just uh, punched through. And then I see that the LED is no longer blinking, which was a good sign, that was a good indication. It wasn't giving any errors. Then you see this orange piece start to ignite. It's getting um, really, really hot right now. And in a few seconds, you'll see that the gas is starting to be delivered to the unit and the burners kick on. Boom. And that is how I fixed the furnace problem that we had at the house in about a couple of minutes. So hopefully this helps you. If so, give me a thumbs up. Thank you.